Welcome to our daily Forex market analysis in preparation for June 21st, 2017. Just a quick disclaimer before we get started. This is for educational purposes only. If you have questions about your individual investment needs, I recommend you talk to your investment advisor. First off, let's take a look at our calendar here. So the big news today was Bank of England, Governor Carney speaking, and this was important because last time um, when we saw the, the Bank of England uh, monetary policy meeting minutes, the people, um, there were three people who had MPC members who had voted for an interest rate hike. So today, um, Governor Carney said that we're actually, no, they're not in any position to raise interest rates just yet, which makes sense, especially with Brexit and everything that's going on there. It's not, it's not the right time to raise interest rates, even though the inflation has been quite high. So that's where we sit at the moment. Um, and um, and as a result of that, uh, because that was negative for the pound, uh, we saw pound drop quite nicely as we had expected yesterday. So going into Wednesday here, not much in terms of uh, the London session, but we do have existing home sales and then crude oil inventories for the New York session. And big thing tomorrow will be another central bank. So we have um, New Zealand Reserve Bank of New Zealand rate statement as well as the official cash rate. So with Australia, they kept the interest rate the same and the, um, the central bank expressed a little bit concern, uh, concern about the, the level of debt that um, the households have in Australia, as well as uh, the housing market. So those were the two concerns that um, Reserve Bank of Australia was looking at, but they essentially said that we're not looking to raise rates in 2017. And um, that's why Australian dollar is now um, sort of, it, in itself, that one didn't really have much of an impact, but overall it's not bullish. If they had said that they're looking to raise rates, that would have been a bit more bullish for it. So now, um, since US dollar, it's strong, so it was okay to sell that today. So let's have a quick look at what's going on. We'll start off looking at Euro. So Euro here, it's interesting. We have broken below this 1166 level, and we stayed below that today. We, um, as we had talked about, we did have a pullback into that level and then price dropped. And now we have, we are right into, we are kind of hovering above the 1100 level. So this 1100 level will be significant because what last time price came here, we pushed back up and now we're back. So it's taken us a few weeks to get back down to this level again. This is where the support resistance was coming, um, coming from. So I am looking for price to come into this level, but the daily candle itself is not a very strong candle. So this previous candle was stronger, um, and that's why we were looking for a drop in euro. And now this candle is not very strong. We have a small body and wicks on both sides, which makes it a little bit neutral. So now we are looking for price to drop into this 1100 level, but I'd be watching this level because this is where um, we just pushed off of this level. If it does break through this level, then the next level we need to watch is this 1075 level right into the bottom of this pin. If it goes through that, then we are back into this 1050 level. So going into a little bit of a support area with the, all the way from 1100 all the way down to 1050 level. So that would be a, a bit of a, this here is a bit of a zone. Um, if the price does drop through 1100, then we could see price get into 1050. So overall, the bias is still bearish on this, but we have to be cautious because we are coming into important support as well as the candle today was not as strong. This was definitely a stronger candle. Uh, today's not so much. So let's go down to let's go down to a four hour and take a quick look. So this is where we are from four hour perspective. This 1100 level is important here as well because this is where we had first taken off, tested this again, and rejected this level, pushed off, and now we are back into testing this level. So where it sits currently, um, it it looks 
uh, like it's holding below this. So we are looking for a further move to the downside. Um, and in terms of uh, levels here, so like I said, this will be the next one, which is 1175 level, and then further down um, 1050 or even this level here, uh, this pin, which is 1030 level. That may be, that will be important as well. So we have a bit of, so once price gets through this, we do have a little bit of this inefficient move that could get filled. So we have to watch out for that. In terms of one hour, this is where we are, uh, pushed back into this previous support and resistance area. And now we are holding below that. So this was um, important level. Um, and now we are, so here price, this is where price went to retest and now price is dropping. So this here was an important area. Price broke through, went back and tested a little bit higher, and now it's holding below. So if it holds below pivot point, we're looking for a further move down and over this S2 level, which is approximately the 1100 level, that would be significant if it drops down further than we do have those levels that we marked here. Pound here, uh, based on what we discussed, this is um, this is why we saw a big drop here, and U.S. dollar is um, is also strong, so very very bearish close. So this is the close we were looking at yesterday, and we talked about where uh, pound is likely to drop. So it did. Now we could see because it is a big candle, we could see a, a push back into this 2680 level. So we could see price go up and then make another move to the downside. Um, so I have, um, so this is what we have, price drop here. And now the level we are holding below is that 2650-ish area. So if the price holds below here, we could see another drop, but we could see price kind of go back up here as well. 2700 level so that or um yeah this looks good here as well so let's just zoom out a little bit so here we are in the daily this 2680 level um is significant and then if we go in so 2680 which is right this pin right here so that will be an important level and um, if we hold below 2650 that is uh, that is important so in terms of pullback what we may see is oops something like that into the pivot point and then drop or we could see a larger pullback into um, this 2680 or 2700 area and then a drop but the bias is to the downside do keep in mind it has moved significantly already so here's our pivot point uh, 2660 ish area, but I would just keep it here. If it stays below this, then we're looking for another move to the downside. So biases to the downside. Dollar CAD here, we have seen price consolidate right into um, the support and resistance area. So we're bottom of this pin right here. And now it's been holding above. This is a bullish candle, and our bias is to the upside. We do have this large move that's open. So based on this, we are looking for move to the upside. The next target, uh, the first target here would be 13300 level. So this that will be the first target, 13300. And then a further up, we are looking at 3380 level. So in terms of uh, um, in terms of our, yeah, so I would say that that will be the target, 3300, 3380. Um, and tomorrow we do have the oil inventories come out, which can push this one way or the other. Okay, so that's, um, that's that. So let's take a look at four hour here. So this is where we are, 3300. We're fairly close to that. The next one is here. So we do have this, you know, this whole move open. So if it starts to go up, 
it could get through this. Once it gets through this 3300, it could go there, which is also our R3 level. So going down to one hour. So this one lines up, 3300 lines up with our R1 and R3 is this 3380 level. So we are back into here, which is our previous support and resistance, if you can find it, all the way from here. So those are the two important levels, the biases to the upside for dollar CAD. Aussie dollar here, uh, this is the opposite of what we saw for dollar CAD. This is um, our, we're looking for a move to the downside here. So price, um, it has been making, see how it's been going lower. So this is bearish, looking for another move to the downside. Not much of a move today, unfortunately. So this is uh, the 75.55 level. And we haven't even touched it yet, but bias is still to the downside. And we're looking for, now that the price has started filling this candle, I'm looking for price to come down into the 75.30 area or even lower into 75.20 area, which is this previous support and resistance. So the bias for this one is to the downside. And here, as we can see, that's a good level for price uh, to get to 75.20. Now price would have to break. So this here is a very important, 75.20 is an important support and resistance level because it acted as resistance on the way up and acted as support um, on, the, on another leg up. So we, this was a bearish consolidation here, looking for another move to the upside. So now we are going to run into trouble in the same spot. So once that breaks, it does give us this whole move. So we could see price come all the way down here into 7370 area. So, but the big one would be the first level, 7520 level. This is what we are looking at. It's consolidating, just the way it's consolidating here. This is looks bearish, looking for another move to the downside. We are um, holding below that previous support and resistance. See how it did a nice back test of this level. So previous support, previous support, broke through, did a back test, support becomes resistance. And now uh, basically we're looking for next move to be moved lower. So it's already into this support and resistance, 75.63. So once we see a break of this, 75.20 will be the next target to the downside. So biases certainly to the downside. New Zealand dollar here, it looks very nice. We did, um, we have seen a few pins. Yeah, Aussie, Aussie dollar short, I'm uh, still in that. So yeah, that it looks good because it's holding below that level. So here we have 7180, that's the target to the downside here. The first target is 7197. So about 7,200, second target is 7,170. So that's what we're looking at. It's, uh, the bias is bearish. I, even though it's a green candle, I like the pin on top here. And these multiple pins, basically uh, they show rejection. So that's where I'm going to uh, look for this move, further move to the downside. New Zealand dollar has been quite, um, uh, considering everything else, the New Zealand dollar has been um, has been holding its own, but we are already into resistance here. So I'm looking for a pullback into the 7170 level on this one. Um, here we are. So 7170 level looks good from four hour perspective as well. So looking at the one hour, this is where we are holding below the pivot at the moment and looking for this. Um, that will be our S1 level. So 7170 lines up with S1 level. So we've been making lower highs. So looking for a further move to the downside. Let's have a quick look at the yen here. Yen has uh, turned now. So here we saw that for three days, price struggled with this level, broke down now, We're looking for next move to the downside. And the target, the first target here would be 13900 level. Uh, we may see problems into 139, so about 140 level. So let's put that as the first target. 140 as the first target, 140 as the first target, yeah, and 139 as the second target on pound yen. 
So a quick peek at dollar yen here. Dollar yen looks bearish as well. It had trouble breaking through, so couldn't get past this um, 1180 level. Now it looks like it wants to move lower. So we are looking at 11, uh, sorry, 110.80 level um, as the target to the downside. But US dollar has been strong. So this is um, this has been a bit of a weak move, but it doesn't look like it wants to move up higher. So bias on dollar yen is to the downside, looking at 110.80 level. We'll quickly look at euro yen here. Euro yen looks better than dollar yen. More of a bearish close here. And we are looking for a further move to the downside into 123.50 level, which is the bottom of this, uh, this pin right here. And I think that's it. Just let's take a look at dollar, Euro dollar here as well. Sorry, Euro Aussie. So Euro Aussie looks like um, wants to push up higher. We did have a test of this level 140, 1.4620, but now it has pushed off of the level quite a bit. Um, so Aussie is weaker than Euro at the moment. So it's been pushing up. So the next target here is 147.50. The close on the daily close was um, bullish here. So we're looking for a move back into this 147.50 area. Um, and then that's where we'll have to see if price will hold to that level and maybe make another move to the downside or not. But at this point, looks like it wants to move higher into 147.50 area. So that's all for now. Anything else we need to look at? Or anything to add? Okay, so that's it. Perfect, so let's call it a wrap.